What's up guys and welcome back to the Minecraft modding tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add your own block into Minecraft using Forge. So if you haven't seen how to set up Forge or you haven't seen uh, me write out this code then go to the videos on uh, my channel. One, The first one's called setting up Forge and the next one's called preparing your preparing your mod class and setting up forge just sets up forge so you can start one with it and then preparing your mod class I'll go through all this code that I've got just in front of me and that's it so today we're going to be adding our own block as I said and to do this we need to go into our common proxy and our common proxy adds the block to the server and also the client so to do this what you will have to do you'll have to type in game registry and then dot and then you'll need to do add block no, regi register block and then you can just leave that blank just close that <coughs> and then up above it you need to do public static block and then give your block a name which is the variable that you'll, you'll be using to identify your block so I'm going to call this forge test and you can't have any spaces and then you do the equal sign open brackets and do new and now what we need to do we need to create ourselves a new file so this file is going to be called block forge test open brackets and now we can create class <coughs> pardon me and this is created inside our forge toot and as you can see it extends block and what we'll need to add in here we'll need to add a constructor which is public no public void block Forge, and this block forge is whatever you, you named your class. So block forge test, and we're gonna add some variables. Am I trying to? There we are. Add some variables, and the first variable is int i, and the second variable is int j, and why is that yellow? Ah, you don't need the void. Don't need the void. That's what I did wrong. So you've now got lock forge test int i int j and also gonna add material and that'll be M. And I need to import material. So I've imported material and now what you need to do you need to add a super constructor. So you need to write super open brackets i j and m and then semicolon into that and that is done and you can also add if you want this dot this dot what can we do now let's just let's just not add anymore so that is the basic block file and so int i is the id int j is the texture and uh, m is the material so it can be dirt we can't, it can be rock it can be air it, it's got a lot of materials <coughs> on me again uh, and what, now what we need to do we need to go back to our common proxy and where this block forge test we need to now add the variables. So the block ID can run from 0 to 256, but about 150 are already used up by the game itself. So I'm just going to go for 200 to be safe. And then the texture. And because this video isn't on texturing, we can't have a custom texture at the moment. So I'm just going to use one for in game. So 0 and it's a integer 
it is, whichever you type this, you can type in 1, you can type in 200, you can type in whatever you want, but I'm putting 0 for that, and then we need to choose the material, so it's material dot, and then you'll come up with all these, so why don't we have, hmm, let's have cloth for this example, and then at the end of that you need to do dot set block name, then you need to add a string, and this is going to be your block name, and I'd advise it being lowercase, so forge test block, you just may call it. This block name doesn't actually affect anything, but it's just nice to have it so you can tell it apart. And then you'll need to do dot set hardness, and then I'm going to put the hardness as 1f, and it's a float, so it has to have f at the end. Then I'm also going to put dot set um, what was it? resistance. So this is against TNT explosions and stuff like that. So this also needs to be float. So I'm just going to give it 100, no 10, just for this this example. And then you can close it off. And now where this game registry dot register block is, you can uh, type your whatever variable you called your block and this is this bit here forge test and you paste that into the register block and that has now has no errors and I'm just going to delete this because I don't actually need this and if I save that all the errors are gone and we can go ahead and click play and as you can see it's registering our mods propose for Alps test mod and we can go and in, head into our world and I need to add it to creative inventory menu pardon me so to add it to creative inventory menu I'm just gonna quickly paste something like got earlier in and this is set and um, yeah set creative tabs creative Tabs. There we are. And I'm also just going to prove to you that because I'm using Forge, I can actually run the server as well. So I need to close one of these servers down. So I've opened too many. I've opened too many. Okay, so we've got that and we've got this. That's good. <coughs> so now it's setting up the server. It's done that. And if we go into multiplayer, you can join this world. And seems to be taking a while. Here we are, loading in. And I'm on the server, hasn't crashed yet, that's always a good sign. And I'm just going to opt for myself, so opt player. 877 game mode player no, it's game mode 1 player and there's wolves barking in the background wait, did that do anything? yeah that did ok, so if we scroll down as you can see, this is the block we added it's just very basic at the moment I'm lagging for some reason as you can see It, it's placing and I'm on a server and it's not crashing so that this is using the feature of forge and so I've only coded it once but it's working on client and server so I hope you'll enjoy this guys and I hope it's been informative uh, if you take got here by the forum page then uh, if you follow my forum page then <coughs> it'll be keep being updated with more mod tutorials and if you just want to subscribe to my channel that'll be awesome and you'll also be kept up to date with all these mod tutorials. So I hope to see you next time guys. Peace out.